Right, come on then dude, time to make some videos. Uh, yeah in a bit, I'm just full of Christmas pud. Come on buddy, it's really time to get back to work and start doing some stuff. Yeah, 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 I'm just enjoying the Christmas holidays dude. Chill. We let you have the entirety of Christmas off. I mean, he didn't even bother doing an end of year wrap up video. Well, no one watches those videos anyway. I don't know why no one bothers doing them. Look, it's January now and it's really time to start- January? We better make some videos. Pickle job, pickle job, miniatures, excellent. Hi guys, my name's Josh, this is The Pickle Jar, and welcome to the first video of 2023. Today we're gonna to be talking about New Year's resolutions and goals that we set ourselves within the hobby and what sort of effect they have on our hobby productivity and what sort of effects they have on our hobby. Whilst I talk about this because no one wants to sit here for eight minutes and look at my face, I'll be painting up the brand new Horace Ascended model from Games Workshop which they kindly sent me out early. Now as it's the start of the year, everyone is still very much focused on New Year's resolutions, new hobby goals, new things that they've set out that they want to do for the year and that is absolutely fantastic. There's nothing wrong with setting yourself goals and setting yourself little things that you want to hit, targets that you want to get to, both within the hobby and just in life in general. But the important thing to remember when setting stuff like this is it doesn't matter if you don't hit those goals. You guys have got to remember that your hobby, by and large, is not your job. And if you don't hit those goals, yeah, it means that you've not progressed as much as maybe you would like to have done, but it also doesn't actually mean anything. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't set goals or you should just sort of treat them as nothing. But what I am saying is don't stress too much about them. I see far too many people that get towards the end of the year and sort of look back and go, oh, I've not done this this year and I've not done that this year and I didn't get this finished and I've not painted as many models as I have done the year before. And it doesn't really matter. As long as you guys have enjoyed the hobby that you have done, the painting, the gaming, the building, the kit bashing, the conversions, all of that stuff. As long as you guys have enjoyed what you have done that year and it has been an enjoyable experience, that's all that matters really. With that in mind, I am setting myself a couple of pretty simple goals that I want to hit by the end of the year. The first of which is to build out my current armies a little bit more than they are already. I'm not really looking at starting any new armies or any new systems really, other than the ones that I already have. I just want to build stuff out a bit more. So I want to paint some more of my Necrons and get those built up to... I, I essentially want to get all of my Necrons built and painted eventually. I'm not saying by the end of this year, because I've got a lot of unbuilt and unpainted Necrons, but I definitely want to get them done eventually. And I just want to build them out a bit more this year. So I've got more variety and more options for when I'm planning lists. Same thing with my Age of Sigmar armies. I've got my Cruel Boys that I want to build out to a couple of thousand points. And I've got my new Skaven army that I started towards the end of last year, which is currently built, but nothing past that. And I want to build that out to about 2000 points as well. Again, just so I've got options and I can play bigger games if I fancy it. I've obviously got my big Star Wars army as well, which I am definitely going to be working on at some point soon. It's all built, it's all primed, just needs painting now but I don't really need anything new for that either. I've got everything that I need for the droids on that. So that just needs painting. And then the other goal that I'm setting myself is that I just want to try and push myself and improve as a painter just in general. I think over the last couple of years, I have tried new techniques and I've tried finding shortcuts and I've tried new products and I've tried all sorts of different things to help with uh, people that are getting into the hobby or people that are just wanting to push themselves a bit more but I've not particularly pushed myself too much. I think I've progressed naturally because I've been painting more but I've not really pushed myself other than the odd couple of models like my Golden Demon entry last year. Outside of that, I've not really pushed myself to improve and that's kind of what I want to do this year. Now, I'm not saying that every video is going to be a lesson in some new thing that I've done or a massive step forward, but definitely throughout the year, I want to paint one-off standalone display type models and see if I can see the progress through that and, and try new things and really try and make them look cool. And then, maybe at the end of the year, 
I'll paint another Horus and compare it to the one that I'm painting in this video and see if I have improved at all. I know this is a weird one. It's something that I've just sort of thought about over the last couple of weeks when I've seen all the posts on social media and things that people have been putting up and posting about and goals that they've had and comparing how many models they've painted compared to last year and how many they want to do this year and stuff. And I think it is all fantastic. It's, it's good motivation, but just don't pressure yourself too much because it can take the enjoyment out of what we're doing and it can sort of take the fun out of it and it does just become a numbers game. I've sort of stopped doing this myself. I've stopped counting how many models I got. I used to keep a spreadsheet of all the models I've got in my collection, what was painted, what was built, all that sort of stuff. And I've kind of stopped doing that now because I don't get through as much as I would like to. And it became a little bit demoralizing when I looked at what I'd done in a year and compared it to what other people had done in a year. And it was far less. Last year, I think I ended up painting about 150 models, not including stuff that I did for work, which is not a bad number, um, but it's not as much as other people do. I've got some really cool videos planned for this year. I'm going to be doing some terrain bits and pieces, putting what I learned last year to use and doing some bits like that. So I'm really looking forward to doing those. I've got plenty of painting videos planned and in the works. So I'm looking forward to what this year holds. Last year was a weird one. It was absolutely fantastic all the way through and then just sort of fell off a cliff towards the end. It's no one's fault, but it was a weird year. It was very different. And I don't think I'm going to have a year like that again. I don't just mean this year, I just mean in general. I don't think I will ever experience anything like last year again. But this year I've got good, I've got a good feeling about this year. It's going to be good. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, leave us a like and a comment down below. Let us know what your goals are and what your New Year's resolutions are for your hobby. And uh, let's get a bit of a discussion going. If you want to help support the channel, the best way to do so is by checking out Patreon. It's linked down below in the description. If you join up to that, you'll get a ton of cool perks and access to cool things. And it helps support us massively. It really does. I want to say a massive thank you to all our current Patreons. Couldn't do what we do without you guys. Outside of that, we've also got all our affiliate links down below as well. If you want to buy yourself any hobby products, we get a bit of a kickback and it doesn't cost you guys anything extra. That's going to do it from me. I'll catch you in the next one. And until then, remember guys, enjoy your hobby. I'll see you later.